everyone! Today's story involves one dog, one cat, one room, and one big problem! It's Dog versus Cat by Chris Gall. Ooh, and check out this front cover page. Yeah, it's got all these really cool little cartoons. Do you see them? Little panels. One day, a man named Mr. Button went to the animal shelter to pick out a friendly looking dog. Then he brought the dog home. Woohoo! 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 Well, across town, on that very same day, Mrs. Button went to a pet store and bought a smart looking cat. Then she brought the cat home. Mm, are we there yet? However, the Buttons had only one room for their pets. They would have to share. Now this could have been a dangerous situation, but Dog and Cat wanted to be very grown up. Uh, hello! Greetings. Dog quickly arranged one side of the room, and Cat did the same with the other. Dog gave Cat warm greetings. The cat didn't like the showers. Then Cat offered Dog a mouse-warming present. Oh, I believe it's uh, chocolate-covered mice. Yuck! Dog showed Cat how to chase his tail. You've got to be kidding me. And Cat showed Dog how to curl up with a good book. Boring! Oh! Their habits were also very different. Dog liked to keep in touch with his friends during the day, and Cat liked to play games all night long. <clears throat> it's your turn. <gasps> but neither. Oops, did I switch? Oh, there we go. There were more problems, too. Dog was always sniffing around. <clears throat> Please stop that. And Cat would claw anything that moved. No! Ho, 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 ho. And then there was the litter box issue. Why can't you go outside like any normal pet? I have indoor privileges. Well, that was when they decided to mark their own territory. But neither cat nor dog was satisfied. One of them had to leave. Cat knew that dog had a very good nose, so cat made sure to maintain horrible garlic breath. Oh. And then dog rubbed some party balloons on the rug and stuck them on the cat. <laughs> Uh, the cat popped them with the sharp claws, nearly giving Dog a heart attack. Pop, 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 pop. Cat filled Dog's water bowl with a hairball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. And then Dog poured water all over Cat's head during nap time. Whoa, well, that was too much. Each pet was determined to get the other in trouble. Cat used a silent dog whistle to make dog howl in the middle of the night. Ow! Well, cat then dog spread catnip all over Mrs. Button's nice pillow so that cat would just go crazy. That was when the Buttons gave both dog and cat a time out. Look at cat. It, it wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. Really. Since they could not agree on anything and nothing else and such and such, Dog and Cat decided to build a wall to separate their room. You missed a spot. No, I didn't. After they were finished, the room became very quiet. Too quiet. Soon, Dog began to remember all the good times they had had together. And Cat began to remember all the fun times, too.
They began to miss each other. So Cat sent over a peace offering, and Dog replied. They each set out to solve the problem in different ways. Hello again. Oh, you, you beat me to it. Then one day, Dog and Cat heard a strange howling outside their door. Another pet? They could not believe that. Mr. and Mrs. Button would wish for a pet any better than dog or cat? What could it be? Dog hoped it wasn't a porcupine. Cat hoped it wasn't an elephant. Dog and cat were afraid. They agreed that something had to be done to keep the creature out of their room. Cat drew up the plans to block the door. Dog tore down their wall and used the pieces. And you missed a spot. But they forgot. The door opened out <laughs> into the hallway. Then Mr. and Mrs. Button brought in the cage. <gasps> oh, no. It was the most terrifying creature dog and cat had ever seen. And it moved into their room. The creature never seemed to stop screeching, and it certainly couldn't use a litter box, so dog and cat decided to move out. Ooh, the smell. Hmm. But they knew of only one other available room. The circumference equals the sum of the adjacent sides. Yeah, I'm sorry, but all I'm hearing is a bunch of meows. Cat drew up the plans, dog hammered nails, and lifted the heavy things. And look at the baby. Oi, oi, oi. When they were done, they shared a pitcher of cold lemonade. Look at that. Well done, huh? Indeed. Oh, look at the baby. Oh, no. Oh, what is that? Yeah, I got outdoor privileges. <laughs> Do you see what they're looking at? Oh, dear. <laughs> the end. One dog, one cat, one room, and one big problem. <laughs> <laughs> Cat versus dog. Well, that's the end of our story today. Bye, you guys. See you next time.